Good morning, Harkness. Today is Friday, May 5th, 2016, and you're watching Channel 7 News. I'm your host, Ryan Zunner. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For the second month in a row, the aerospace upstart SpaceX landed a rocket on the ocean platform successfully early Friday, this time following the successful launch of a Japanese communication satellite. A live web broadcast showed the first stager booster touching down vertically in the pre-dawn darkness atop a bridge in the Atlantic just off the Florida coast. This same thing occurred April 8th during a space station supply run for NASA. That was the first successful landing at sea for SpaceX, which expects to start re reusing its unmanned Falcon rockets as early as this summer to save money and lower costs. Today is the last day during Teacher Appreciation Week. Make sure to let your teacher know that you care and appreciate all they do here at Harkness, preparing us for our future in our careers and in life. Well, in sports news, the Buffalo Bills have announced that they have purchased more land next to their current practice facilities in Orchard Park with plans to expand that current facility. The whole project is being privately funded. Well, it should be a great weekend to head down to the ballpark to catch a Bisons game this weekend. The Bisons are wrapping up a series against Syracuse and the weather is looking perfect. By the first pitch for tonight's matchup at 6.05, it should be about 65 degrees and tomorrow is looking just as good as temperatures could hit around 68. Well, that'll do it for Channel 7 News this morning. Thanks for joining me. I'm Ryan Zunner and remember, Mother's Day is Sunday. Have a great day, Harkness.